Hello and welcome to Grading God's Sight, the podcast that explores underrated heroes. This is season two, and we're so glad you've joined us for this episode entitled John Bunyan, Progress in Prison. Please be sure to subscribe and check out the terrific artwork that goes along with today's story on our website, thegreatpodcast.org. Thanks for listening. From dark, damp corners, large gray rats quickly scurried across the cold stone floor of Bedford Jail. Lying on the floor was a slumbering man in his forties. The wrinkles on his face and the creases on his brow bore testimony to the many hardships he had experienced. This impoverished yet brilliant English preacher soon woke up from his slumbers. Seeming half-dazed, he peered across the room until he caught sight of his pen and paper. As I walked through the wilderness of this world, I lighted on a certain place where was a den, and I laid me down in that place to sleep, and as I slept, I dreamed a dream. These are the opening lines to Pilgrim's Progress, a book that has become well-known and well-loved among countless readers throughout modern history. The author, John Bunyan, was a committed Christian preacher who found himself in trouble with the law by preaching without the mandatory Church of England license. For this infraction, which was very serious at the time, Bunyan wound up in jail, which he metaphorically refers to in his book as a cave or den. Much like his namesake in the New Testament, John Bunyan was imprisoned for his faithfulness to his God-given calling of preaching the truth of Scripture. And as in the case of the Apostle John, God used Bunyan even amid imprisonment and isolation from the world at large to produce a work that would spur countless Christian pilgrims on their journey to heaven, the celestial city. The plot of Bunyan's classic work, Pilgrim's Progress, is almost a metaphorical account of Bunyan's own Christian experience. The epic narrative is centered on a man who, at the beginning of the story, is introduced to the teachings of Scripture and becomes aware of his sinfulness and the impending destruction of him, his family, and the city he lives in. In distress over the coming events and seeking a way of escape, the man receives instruction from a heaven-sent messenger as to how to find relief from the burden of sin that weighs him down and how to find the path that leads to eternal life. Bunyan himself, like the main character in his story, experienced great remorse over the sins he had committed as a young man. In his childhood, he had become infamous for his mischief, irreverence, and coarse language. At the age of 16, he was drafted into the Army of the Puritans in the English Civil War. During his three years of military service, he was exposed to the preaching and theology of the Puritans. At the age of 21, John Bunyan got married, and as the new family began to expand, the Bunyans began to take church attendance much more seriously than in the past. In addition to this, John abandoned several pastimes that he was convicted were sinful, such as dancing and sports. One day, as he was walking through the streets of the town of Bedford, John Bunyan overheard four devout Christian women discussing the transforming power of God's grace, their struggles with temptation, and their journey of learning to depend on Christ and His righteousness. As Bunyan eavesdropped on their conversation, he was impressed by their knowledge of Scripture, their authenticity, and their calm yet cheerful demeanor. Whatever they had, he wanted it. A desire began to stir within his heart to become a devout and godly Christian. Yet as these seeds of spiritual revival began to take root in Bunyan's heart, he struggled with guilt and shame over his past sins. He also wrestled with temptations to give up his faith in Christ. His sense of guilt was so great he feared he had committed the unpardonable sin. Although he was teetering on the verge of despair, he continued to seek rays of hope in the scriptures. As the Holy Spirit began to shed light on certain texts that at first had seemed to affirm his doom, Bunyan realized that God's grace was still extended toward him and that he could find salvation in Christ. Having found peace and assurance of salvation, John Bunyan was ready to share this good news that had transformed his life. 
Now in his early 40s, he began to preach as a Puritan lay minister. However, the political landscape in England soon changed when Cromwell's protectorate was dissolved and the monarchy re-established. The Puritans' religious freedom was restricted to ensure conformity with the Church of England. These political changes directly impacted John Bunyan, and in January of 1661, he received a prison sentence for illegal preaching. During the 12 years he spent in prison, Bunyan developed as a prolific writer. He penned an autobiography titled Grace Abounding to the Chief of Sinners, in which he outlined his conversion experience and his call to ministry. He also authored eight other books, including a work on Christian lifestyle and a commentary on the Book of Revelation. Towards the end of his prison term, Bunyan began work on his best-known book, Pilgrim's Progress. In this allegory, Christian, the main character, like Bunyan himself, found relief from the burden of guilt and sin at the cross of Jesus. Christian then had to persevere through various trials and conflicts, including ridicule, temptation, and imprisonment, as he continued his journey to the celestial city. One can see in Christian's experience a reflection of John Bunyan's life journey. Bunyan was finally released from prison in 1672, after 11 years. He received a license to pastor as a Congregationalist and began to minister in his hometown of Bedford. Within six months, however, he was imprisoned again due to restrictions on religious liberty. During this time, Bunyan finished writing Pilgrim's Progress, which was published shortly after the end of his second stint in prison, this one lasting five years. The book became instantly popular and would be recognized for centuries to come as one of the greatest works of English prose. John Bunyan himself became famous as well, and after he was permanently released from prison, he continued preaching not only in Bedford, but also in London. He continued exercising his writing talent outside of prison, producing a sequel to Pilgrim's Progress and another allegory called The Holy War. Bunyan continued his ministerial work into his late fifties. One day, as he was conducting a pastoral visit, which involved reconciling an estranged father and son, he was forced to ride through a heavy downpour. He soon came down with an illness from which he died at the age of fifty-nine. Through his words and the example of his ministry, John Bunyan left an extraordinary legacy to succeeding generations a legacy of perseverance in the Christian journey and faithfulness to the Word of God. He knew what it was like to be trapped in the depths of sin and guilt, and then to experience the tremendous relief and assurance that come through faith in Christ. His love for the Savior and commitment to God's Word led him to stand courageously in the face of persecution. In times of fiery trial, he found his refuge in the Word of God, and his writings are saturated with wording and imagery from the scriptures. The testimony of his life and his writings have encouraged countless Christians to be faithful to God's word and to persevere as they progress in their pilgrimage to the celestial city. Thank you for listening to Great in God's Sight, a podcast by GYC Southeast. We hope you have enjoyed this adventure through time, and pray it serves to deepen your relationship with God. While we strive to bring you a unique perspective on each believer, we encourage you to use your God-given curiosity to explore these topics for yourself. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and share this episode with your friends via text or social media. You never know who might be encouraged. Until next time, we wish you God's blessing as you seek to be great in His sight too.